In the city of St. Charles, dozens of Stephen Conlin's campaign signs still stand along the side of the street, even though Stephen Conlin was standing in line to have his mugshot taken Sunday night. The total amount of uh, marijuana seized was a dollar value of $85,000. This is what $85,000 of pot looks like. Investigators found 17 pounds of it inside Conlin St. Charles Home and Business this weekend. This has been an ongoing thing for several years is my feeling on it. They also uncovered 61 marijuana plants, along with two handguns, two long guns, and $1,100 in cash. Through my years, we've made some uh, substantial uh, drug arrests, but this is the biggest one I can recall for some time. At City Hall Monday afternoon. Yep. No. Word spread quickly that Conlin had been arrested just eight days before voters will decide if they want him to fill one of two open city council seats. The news was certainly disheartening uh, for the community. So. Conlin could still be elected to the city council, but if he's convicted of the crime, whether that's before or after he were to take office, state law mandates that he would not be allowed to serve the people of St. Charles. I've never seen anything like it, so. And while voters will still find Conlin's name on the ballot next week, they may not have the final say when it comes to the fate of his political career. There are still plenty of people in the small city of St. Charles that support Steve Conlin, but there are those who have now turned the other way. Unless I am convicted of a felony, I am qualified to serve my fellow citizens as a councilman. On Sunday night, authorities raided Conlin's home and business where they found 17 pounds of pot along with guns, cash, and 61 marijuana plants. Where did the 17 pounds of marijuana come from? I have no idea. To a lot of people's surprise, though, Conlin showed up for a candidate forum Thursday night where he told the crowd he has no plans on halting his campaign. Do you think it's fair to your supporters to put them through this, to all these loyal people that you have here in town that are supporting you? I don't think it's fair for me to be put through this, let alone my supporters. Conlin believes the entire operation was set up by authorities. The only people surprised I showed up here tonight are, let's see, the mayor who is a sheriff's deputy for Winona County. And you wonder why I'm suspicious. You wonder why this looks political. Is it possible that 17 pounds of marijuana were planted by law enforcement in Steve Conlin's house? Absolutely not. And while you might expect Conlin to be nervous about having all this looming over his campaign, the longtime St. Charles resident is confident he will win come next Tuesday. I have not been convicted and I am innocent until so.